Hello and greetings from Iceland. In this uh, short update, we will take a look at the constantly changing map of the volcano site. And uh, I am going to explain the map a bit better because uh, a subscriber asked me the other day if I could show the most recent developments from the webcams. And it's a perfect timing now because uh, four new fissures opened up just yesterday and are now spitting up lava. But it is still not a fully continuous uh, fissure. It uh, still consists of uh, small craters, and this is the latest overview from Drone. But uh, let's go over the volcano map, because uh, it's always more fun to uh, have the whole picture in front of you when you are looking at uh, these events through the webcam. And the color purple, that is the new lava, and this is a fissure as it looked uh, two days ago. And the new openings, they are just about here. Webcam number one, it is located here. And it was on this place where it started to record three weeks ago. This is how it looked then, and this is how it looks now. And uh, I'm sure that the government of Iceland will uh, offer you this uh, chunk for good price, but uh, only after it cools. When we look to the left on uh, this video clip, we see the opening that I mentioned uh, in my last video. And this is how that craters look today. They have been building themselves up in like uh, cone shape, and it is going to be really interesting to see this uh, grow for the next weeks. Camera number two is a bit further away, up on a hillside, overlooking this valley. That was just uh, recently hit by lava flow, coming from some of the new fissures up there on the hill. But both of those cameras are operated from the state broadcasting service. There is another media who placed the online camera out there, it's actually the second camera they placed there, because the first one went under uh, lava. And uh, this third camera is located just about here. But uh, I'm afraid it has a fissile lens, and the location could be better. But uh, it's not far out, because uh, it is very possible that a new fissure might open up uh, just in front of it. So it's worthwhile to have it there. We never know what it will capture, and uh, as usual, I'm leaving links to all the cameras. And uh, additional link to uh, good uh, night footage of the new fissures. As usual, I have no answers about how this uh, eruption will develop. Will it come to an end soon, or is it just the beginning? Nobody knows. But uh, if you are new to my channel, you can go over my uh, latest videos about uh, this eruption, and uh, there are some uh, information there from experts that you might uh, want to listen to. The uh, only concrete news that I have today is that... Uh, there has been significant uh, decrease in activity on the northernmost crater, but the activity has uh, increased on the south end. And uh, I was just reading that uh, it is expected that the fissure there could extend further south, raising new questions, of course. Questions like, uh, could the fissure extend all the way down to uh, the valley Nautai? But uh, that is the valley that was for a week the most uh, likely location for an eruption. And uh, it was in Nautai, where the live TV from the eruption started. So I'm pretty curious to see if this fissure is just starting to rip up the land. And in that case, the path of the lava would be pretty easy and uh, straightforward down to the ocean, but possibly ruining one farmland on the way. So as usual, this seems to be far from over. But uh, we do however have a new problem, and that is the increased level of toxic gas. The uh, eruption site has been evacuated several times now, but it is the hottest tourist spot in Iceland now. Thousands of people have uh, hiked up there to witness this, and the gas hasn't been such a problem until now, especially in the last days. And it is on that level now that uh, it can be uh, measured in Reykjavík in uh, worst case uh, wind direction scenarios. And uh, it is possible now to see the gas uh, dispersion at any given time online. Before the eruption started, I mentioned that uh, gas could be our worst enemy. And I think it's no coincidence that the uh, air pollution is increasing now when the, when the fissure is getting uh, longer. As for myself, I'm uh, preparing to uh, go south soon. I would like to go up to the eruption and stay there for like uh, one to three days, depending on the weather, gas pollution and the overall scenario there. And I'm hoping that my uh, zoom lens will uh, get me pretty close. Just as close as the idiots, but uh, without uh, being an idiot myself. I am going to make my uh, zoom lens work for me. That's for sure. 
And uh, finally, I want to tell you that uh, I have been making videos uh, lately about the surroundings of the volcano. My latest video covers the fact that uh, Mount Faradalsfjall is one of Iceland's uh, deadliest mountains. It is a mountain that uh, changed the course of history. And I have another recent video that is covering the coastline on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Kind of a road guide video and intro to my channel. So it's uh, plenty of videos coming online in the next uh, one, two weeks. Then I will take a break, go filming up on a mountain, come back and show you what I captured. But until then, thank you for your visit and all the best from the volcanic island Iceland.